Hi everyone, welcome back to The Soulful Cook, where I share with you some of my favorite vegan recipes. Today we're going to be making one of my favorite summertime vegan burger recipes. These burgers are also 100% gluten free and oil free. These burgers are perfect for summertime gatherings. You can even grill them, you can bake them, you can also pan fry them. If you're looking for the written version of this recipe, head over to my blog at thesoulfulcook.com. You can also view it in the description box below. Everything I used in this video is linked down below, and just remember, anytime you do purchase from those links, you are supporting this channel in a huge way, which will only help us share even more content with you. Now before we jump into the recipe, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. All right, let's make some vegan burgers. Here's everything you're going to need to get started. First thing we're going to do is prepare our flax egg. So I'm taking one fourth cup of water and I'm adding two tablespoons of flax meal. I'm going to mix that really well and then we're going to set that aside. So now I'm taking our black beans and then using a potato masher or a fork, I'm just going to mash it. If there's a few bits and pieces remaining, that's totally fine. It doesn't have to be completely smooth. So then we're going to set that aside as well. In a saute pan, I'm going to add in our sliced onions. And we're going to saute that for about a minute. And now I'm gonna go in and add my chopped mushrooms. And then you wanna saute that until the onions are slightly brown and the mushrooms are fully cooked through. And then make sure to add a little bit of water at a time or veggie broth to make sure nothing burns or sticks to the bottom of the pan. So now to the food processor, I'm adding one fourth cup of walnuts and then we're just going to pulse that a few times. You don't want it to be a fine powder, just pulse it enough until they're all chopped up. So now I'm adding half a cup of cooked brown rice, our onion and mushroom mixture. a teaspoon of garlic powder, two tablespoons of paprika, and two teaspoons of cumin powder. And then we're just gonna mix that on high until everything is chopped up and fully incorporated. Again, if there are bits and pieces remaining, then that's totally fine that actually will add a lot more texture to your patties. So now I'm gonna transfer that to a bowl and to that bowl, I'm gonna also add in our mashed black beans. I'm going to add in one and a half to two teaspoons of salt and then our prepared flax egg. And then we're going to mix everything together to make sure everything is nice and well combined. So now we're going to slowly add in our breadcrumbs and I liked adding it slowly to make sure I don't add too much. You don't want the mixture to be completely dried out. In total, I added about one cup of breadcrumbs. So I'm just going to slowly add that in until everything is well incorporated. 
and then you'll see that your dough starts to thicken up. So now I have my baking sheet lined with two pieces of parchment paper. I'm taking about half a cup of mixture and then I'm rolling it into a ball and then flattening it out into a hamburger patty shape. And then we're just going to set that on top of the parchment paper. And then you're going to do this until the mixture runs out. I was able to make a total of five patties. And the size of the patties is completely up to you. I made them according to the size of my hamburger binds. So just keep that in mind as well before you shape them out. And I am choosing to bake my patties. If you want to grill them, then you can bake them and then toss them onto the grill. And then you can add your toppings and your additional fixings as you prefer. So we're going to bake that at 350 for 35 minutes, flipping halfway. There you have it. Super easy, homemade, gluten-free and oil-free vegan burgers. If you're looking for more recipes like this one, head over to my blog at thesoulfulcook.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell icon so you do get notified every time I post a new video. If you ended up trying this recipe or any others, don't forget to tag at the Soulful Cook so I can check them out. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Uh, 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 uh.